Hey guys, Wombat here, back with Borderlands 2, and where we left off, if I remember correctly, was that we finished our farming of the snowmen, the snowmen, and honestly, I, I'm not sure what I want to do, if I want to do some of the other DLCs, or if I want to just go back. Well, first let me equip... Proper missions. So where are we at here? We are... Oh, let me do this. That's a good idea. I want to get the... Uh... I believe it's called the Storm. I always forget the name of it. But... It's a Tesla grenade. Really good Tesla grenade. And it tends to drop pretty... Uh... Calm. It's, it's like... It is a legendary. But... The drop on it is pretty good, so... Not bad. So for this episode, I am trying something new, which I'm gonna be constantly looking at my, uh... My audio levels, because I don't have my headset in right now. And I want to see if I could do this without my headset in. Just because sometimes I don't feel like having my headset on. So right now, it looks like it's going pretty good. If you guys hear double audio, like double game audio, like through the mic and then like what normally would be heard, uh, put that down in the comments and tell me. So I can either lower the volume on my TV or whatever just figure out so we, we're gonna drop the pizza and cloud kill will completely destroy these guys there we go one down See, normally what I do is I tend to run a rocket launcher, but with cloud kill, it's like, I don't even need to do that. Because normally with a rocket launcher, if it's strong enough, I could kill in one shot. Actually, with cloud kill with the rocket launcher, well, now they're damaged, but... It could work even better. There we go, and no one dropped it. Rip. But this is a quitty... Pretty... Quitty... Quit... Pretty quick, um, pretty quick farm, personally, I feel. This will probably go on, depending how quickly I get it. Even if I get one, I forgot the order in which you have to do this, but it's like, I messed it up already. Okay, I got it. And then Splinter spawns right here. And he's dead. Cool. Didn't get a drop. But I know that one. Oh, I'm full. I didn't sell my shit. Nice. High resolution shit, literally. Okay, so let's go for attempt number dose. But yeah, this is a pretty quick farm. It's like right in the beginning of the level. So. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, I have to upgrade my backpack space. That's something I gotta do. I'm really thinking I should equip that. Ah, uh, we'll find out. But yeah, even thinking about it, I probably will still rock the rocket launcher. <laughs> Because there's really no need to not. Because, like I said, I normally run. Never mind, I won't run the rocket launcher this time. Because I don't feel like uh, going back to get ammo. Because I forgot to get ammo. That actually could be a downside to doing the rocket launcher. Is, um. Is, uh, what's it called? That rocket ammo is not the cheapest. And even though you probably make up for it and even get a profit off of the guns you get from the chest at the end. 
Uh, I probably won't. I'll see. I'll decide. And hopefully I don't- I don't think I have to turn in the mission for them to respawn. No, you don't. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll just use a shotgun. Is it- Oh, the shotgun is one shot. That's awesome. I don't even need cloud kill, but cloud kill just adds to it. Okay. Except for that, that was a bad shot. What I really want to do is, as soon as possible, be able to- which- that all depends on how much I waste time farming and whatever. But to be able to get to T- not T-Bone Junction. Um, yeah, I think it's this. This, and then double this? No. Is it two and two? I forget the code properly. Probably should look it up so I don't, or just try to figure it on my own. I don't know. Come on, work. Oh wait, I think it has something to do with this lever as well, as part of the code. I don't remember. <laughs> I got it really quick the last time. Don't remember what I did. TV. Damn it. I used to know the code, like, off the top of my head. But... I haven't done it in a while, so... Do! It's... Yeah. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. on this 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 shit I know for a fact. You know what? Fuck it. I won't kill Splinter this time. Splinter. Heal him. Wow. Cool. Purple. What I'll probably do is. Yeah, I'll just reset it and then. I believe it was how I did it the last time. One on the one on the wheel, one on the lever, two on the TV, and then I went back to the lever. Yeah, but if I get close up with the shotgun, it is strong. Yeah, but, uh, what I know- someone commented on one of my, uh, one of the last episodes, uh, about co-op. And, uh, I don't know. I would have to find someone that I would like to do a co-op with. And someone who would be able to continue a co-op. That would be, uh... Definitely a, uh, a factor is someone that could uh, keep up with 
being available. Damn it, I didn't one hit him. Whatever. So I'll just make sure to get really close to this one. There we go. What would be awesome, you know, is if I would be able to do a co-op with uh, Admiral Baru. But... That, that, that won't happen. The odds of that happening is like one in a million. And if you don't know who Admiral Baru... Eh, I can't speak. Who Admiral Baru is, he used to do a lot of Borderlands 2 content. That's how I... I learned from him, pretty much. Everything that I know. In terms of, uh, Borderlands 2. Uh... He doesn't do much anymore. Because he... Has like 5,000 hours or something in this game. Which is understandable why he doesn't do content on it anymore. He's burned out. Okay. No, that was not it. Damn it. But... What was I gonna say? Shit. Damn it. Why? I thought that's what I did the last time. I really should be looking it up. Because... To get Splinter to spawn is like... It's not difficult. And... Okay, I reset all the switches. So... That? Is it the lever? Or this thing on the wall? And then TV? TV twice. No. Shit, I don't remember. But what I'll do is... If you don't know who he is... And obviously he doesn't need my help to like, I guess advertise him or whatever. Um, but just for something that I want to do, I'm going to put his link down into the, oh my God, I cannot speak today. I'm going to put his link down in the description for you go So you guys uh, can check him out. Of course, if you don't know him, if you know who he is, then you don't need that. But for everyone who does not know who he is, I'll put that link down below. And, uh, you should go check him out. He's what I, I believe right now he does Dead by Daylight content, which is a, uh, no, I wouldn't say survival game, but the horror uh, hack and sl I don't know. I can't, I don't know the genre of what Dead by Daylight is, but I, th I believe that's what he mostly posts on his channel right now. Um, he did state that once Borderlands 3 is, uh, out, he'll start doing that again. And I'll definitely be doing Borderlands 3 content because I love Borderlands. As long as it's, like, in terms of, uh, the pre-sequel, I liked it, but it definitely was not as good as Borderlands 2. Uh, and not as good as Borderlands 1. But... I don't know. Right now, I'm just talking. What I'll do for next episode, because we still haven't gotten the Stormfront, is, uh... In between this and the next episode, I will look up the code for this. Spawn Splinter, so I, we're not here sitting three minutes every time. But, uh... Besides that, this is where the episode will end. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will put that link down in the description. Um... If you enjoyed, you gotta hit that like button down below, comment something, and uh, hit that sub button if you're not already subscribed, and I hope you have a good day, and peace out. What's your plans for the day? Let's get lost, if that's okay, we can hit the beach or maybe hit the